Right, okay, so I'm just explaining the intrinsic factors now um, within sports analysis and how that can have an effect on performance. Um, on top of the list, we've got previous in previous injury history. Um, so you know, with playing a drive pass in the midfield um, and trying to play that pass forward, it requires an explosive movement through the leg. Um, with that explosive movement of force, they could have had, say, a previous quadricep injury or hamstring injury. Um, so with that explosive movement, they might be a bit cautious in playing that ball. Um, which could potentially win you the game, and that's having an effect on their performance. Because if they're not actually playing that ball, um, that could potentially lead to a goal scoring opportunity. They may be a little risky of playing that pass um, due to the explosiveness of the power going through the leg to hit that ball, you know, 40 50 yards. Um, another one on here is motivation. Um, motivation, you know, they, they could have been out the night before, had a few drinks, and they might have actually turned up. Um, not feeling very mot motivational um, in the match situation um, to actually put in a good performance because of the way that they're feeling. So you know, what you need to do is you need to come up with a way of motivating them um, and, and come up with other motivational factors to actually um, you know, increase performance in that situation. Same goes for previous injury history. You need to make sure that you've conditioned the person properly so that any sort of thought in the back of their mind that they could pick up any injury doing a certain movement, sprint, anything within a match uh, which is going to affect their performance they need to have that um, part of their mind I mean, that, that needs to be rid of they don't need to have any doubts in their mind that they can't do that um, the next one is, is extrinsic factors um, first one we'll start off with, with is uh, pitch and weather conditions you know, it could be that the pitch um, is absolutely sobbing wet sticky um, and it's still hammering it down with rain um, this can affect the player, especially when trying to play long and short passes in the midfield. Um, especially with you know, short passes, you don't put enough pace on it. With the amount of water on the pitch, it can slow the ball down. Um, that's going to affect their performance by the pass succession rate. Um, and then with them doing that as well, instead of them playing it short, they might start hoofing it long um, when they're not when they don't need to. I mean, when you're trying to just make those long passes um, for the sake of it and getting rid of the ball. Um, I mean, this obviously affects the pass succession and obviously has an effect on the team as a whole as well, as well as the player's uh, performance. Um, another one is winning games. So if your team, you know, if your team's not winning as many games, you know, it will be having uh, a motivational effect, and um, you know, this ex extrinsic factor then leads into an intrinsic factor, where the player becomes um, demotivated. Um, by the fact that the team's not winning games, so they might think that the player is not putting in, uh, that the other player's not putting enough effort to win that game. So then that, that that might lead to them having a demotional effect and not actually putting in the effort themselves into winning the game. Um, so you, know, you you need to come up with um, a, an area where you can keep internally motivating them, or maybe intrinsic, uh, extrinsic by sort of offering um, praise to them. Um, and saying you know, um, you're recognising the job that they're doing on the pitch to keep them motivated. Um, the other one's team chemistry. Um, there might not be as much chemistry between the player and his teammates. Um, so certain teammates might not pass to um, this player. Um, this then um, affects the player's performance as it could be one of your key players, but they just don't get on with the other teammates. So it means that they're not getting the ball as much as you'd like them to. Um, this will obviously have an effect on their performance because if they're getting into those positions and the passes are not coming to them, then they're going to stop moving into those positions, um, which could potentially win you a game. Um, or you know, with this, it could demotivate them from tracking back and actually winning the ball for your team um, and helping other teammates out because you know, they basically don't want to because the team chemistry is not there and you know, they're not getting on with those types of players. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the presentation and the intrinsic and extrinsic factors part. Um, thank you.